let vector u be defined by the components 3, 3, and let vector v be defined by the components negative 3, 3. Express the vector negative 42, negative 12 as a linear combination of u and v. So what does this mean, a linear combination of u and v? So what do we want here? This means that we want to take this vector minus 42, minus 12, and rewrite this so that it is the scalar multiple of vector u. So some scalar multiple c times vector u plus a scalar multiple d times vector v. So this is a linear combination of these two vectors. And this is what we're being asked to do here. So let's take this and plug in our given information. So we have this beautiful vector, negative 42, negative 12, and we need to find the scalar multiples. So we need to find c times our vector u, which is 3, 3, plus some unknown scalar d multiplied by the vector v, which is minus 3, positive 3. So we can't do anything to the left-hand side here, but we can apply vector arithmetic on the right-hand side. So I'll take my scalar multiple c and distribute it through to both terms, and we'll do the same thing with that scalar multiple d. So rewriting this, we have the vector 3c, 3c, plus the vector minus 3d, 3d. And again, using our vector arithmetic, we can combine our like components. So we can think about this now as the one big vector where we're combining those x components. So I have 3c minus 3d, and then we're combining the y components. So this will be 3c plus 3d. All right, so we've simplified as far as we can go at this point. So in order to find the scalars c and d, we need to create a system of equations. So we create a system of equations by equating the like components. So we create a system of equations by equating the like components. So when I say like components, I mean equating the x components and the y components on the left and right hand sides. So looking up at our previous step here, we want to equate the x components. So our first equation will be minus 42 is equal to 3c minus 3d. And then again, looking back up at our scratch work here, we want to create that second equation by equating the y components. So this will be negative 12 is equal to 3c plus 3d. So here is our system of equations. We have equation 1 created by the x components and equation 2 created by the y components. And we can actually simplify this here. Notice that the right-hand side of both equations has a greatest common factor of 3. So let's divide both sides of our equation by 3 to attain the equivalent equation. Minus 14 is equal to C minus D. And then we have our second equation becomes negative 4 is equal to C plus D. And now we're ready to start solving. You can use substitution or elimination to solve this system. So I'm going to use elimination here. I'm simply going to take equation 1, and I'm going to add it to equation 2. So we can even think about this as an equation itself. I have minus 14 is equal to c minus d, plus negative 4 is equal to c plus d. And when we add these together, notice that our, the d variables cancel each other out to 0 leaving us with negative 18 is equal to 2c. And solving for c here, if we divide both sides by 2, we can see that our scalar c is equal to negative 9. So we can now take this scalar c and substitute it into either one of our equations to find d. 
you should get the same answer no matter which equation you choose. So I'll choose equation 2 simply because everything's positive here. So plugging this in, I'm going to have negative 4 is equal to minus C plus or minus 9 plus D. And if we add 9 to both sides, we see that our unknown scalar D is 5. So we have officially determined the scalars for our linear combination, which allows us to write our final answer. So we can say that this vector minus 42, minus 12, which we initially defined as C times vector U plus D times vector V. Right, that's the linear combination of vector U and vector V. And plugging our two scalars in, we have a beautiful final answer of negative 9 times vector u plus 5 times vector v. And you can always check your work here by plugging the original vectors back in to make sure you get minus 42 minus 12. So real quick, let's double check. So plugging in vector u, we have negative 9 multiplied by the vector 3, 3 plus 5 multiplied by that vector v, which has components negative 3, positive 3. And let's give ourselves just a tiny bit more room here so we can see better. All right. So by the distributive property, this gives us negative 27, negative 27 for our first vector, plus distributing that 5, we have minus 15, positive 15. And combining those like components, we're going to have negative 27 minus 15. Then we have negative 27 plus 15, which leaves us with a beautiful final answer of negative 42, negative 12. So this confirms our conclusion for the linear combination of vector u and vector v.